On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. These are the Revenants, one of RuneScape's most popular money makers. Killing these is very risky however, as the caves housing these creatures are filled with PKers. Also, when scald in these caves, you do have a higher chance of getting rare uniques, so this is kind of a must, making you risk even more. Back in episode 17 of Undrop Rates, I hunted Revenant Dragons for an Ancient Crystal, at a drop rate of 1 in 1467, but never ended up getting one. However, I am not giving up, I want another chance at Revenant, which means we are venturing back into these hostile caves to this time defeat up to 1613 Revenant Dark Beasts, in the hopes of finally receiving that Ancient Crystal. When it comes to gear and inventory for this grind, this is what I'm going to be using, which is quite risky at 1.5 million if I die with protect item and minus 15 million if I die and get smited. We have the loot tracker added to the bottom of the screen, and to keep it as accurate as possible, normally I would have my bracelet of ethereum automatically absorb all the ether that drops from the revenants to keep it charged at all times. But because I want a very accurate representation of how much money we're getting from these revenant dark beasts, I'm not going to have that on for this video. So all the revenant ether that we do get from these are going to be tracked on the loot tracker and added to the overall potential giveaway if I lose. We're quick with the teleport, but goddamn, it's been 7kc and we've already been attacked. This is pretty much what it's like during Revenants, it's just so filled with PKers. No way. Did he just get f Oh, it's not him! I thought he got the Thamron Scepter! I was like, no way, I missed out on that. Never mind, baited, someone else did. No way, always when I run into loot, I have so much loot! He missed Teleblock. I think I'm fine, actually. Ah, oh, I turned on my wrong prayer. I wanted Augury on for the protection, but I turned on Piety, but we got away. Every time I run in for the loot, we were risking 1.5 million loot. The PKers always log in at that time. No way. I get Teleblock there. I'm so bad. I should have just teleported out as soon as I saw the name. This guy has Void Waker, Infernal Cape, full Arams, everything. It's not looking good. The downside is I don't really have a mage setup, so landing a freeze on him, I would have to unequip all my dehyde and try to land a freeze on him, and if he's using carols and all that, it's pretty much impossible to land a freeze and get a log out. Yeah, 60 Void Waker, first death of the grind. That is minus like 1.5 million in gear, of course, and I didn't have that much loot in my looting bag, so pretty early on the trip. But we are back to the Rev Caves, and after this one, we're hitting the first milestone of 100 Revenant Dark Beasts. And as you can see on the loot tracker, the money here is ridiculously good, because I have not been here for more than roughly an hour, I would say, and we've already made 3.16 million. I did lose some money, of course, to the peak here, but I think I'll be fine and probably get more used to escaping in the future, so I shouldn't be dying too much. But before we continue, this video is sponsored by one of this channel's best supporters, Raycon. Raycon is the go-to brand for premium audio products, as they come at an extremely affordable price, have tens of thousands of 5-star reviews, and offer easy and free returns, free shipping, and buy now pay later options, so there really is no risking trying them out. I personally use the Raycon everyday earbuds while working out, and with how noise isolating they are, and with how well they fit with their custom gel tips, they make working out an actually fun experience. Raycon is about to run a Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale where they offer up to 50% off on select products, as well as limited time bundles such as the Tech Kit bundle option and the ability to build your own Tech Kit where you can mix and match any 3 plus Raycon products and colors. With Christmas coming up, this is the perfect opportunity to check out my link in the description to get up to 50% off as all their products are perfect gifts to anyone interested in high quality sound and more. These sales are only available for one week, so make sure you visit Raycon's website by November 27th. Shop Raycon Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales for the biggest holiday discounts yet. Go to buyraycon.com slash loanscape to get up to 50% off site-wide. Thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video, let's get back into it. This is post-commentary, but I really wanted to show you something. I think most PKers have alt accounts that check when you stop attacking creatures, and when you do, they log in on their alt accounts because they know that you want to get the loot. So look at this. I'm waiting. I'm picking up the loot. The second I click, 
a maxed PK or very good PK logs in. And luckily he misses his first teleblock, so I get away. But basically every time I get PK'd, it's when I go for the loot. I guess after this one, we can get a bit of a rough estimate on how much money I'm going to be making on this grind if I do not get the crystal. Because we are now 10% roughly done with the grind and we made 4.5 million GP. That is of course with no uniques, so it might be even more than that. But it's looking like 50 million, 45 million, somewhere in that ballpark. So this is pretty much what I have to try and do when I try to land a freeze on someone. I have so bad magic accuracy with my range gear that I have to unequip everything. And that is super risky, of course, because I can take really a lot of damage when this happens. But I did land a freeze on this guy, but what I should have done was walked under him. I honestly didn't expect to hit it, so I just clicked run away. But if I would have walked under him there, I would have escaped. Oh, there's a Maledictus spawn here. You know what? I think every single time I see a Maledictus pretty close to me, I'm going to give it a shot and try to kill it, because they have a guaranteed chance of giving you a totem. Now, the guaranteed drop of a totem is not the super expensive ones. It's the 500k or the 1 million one, but it's still pretty good. Of course, killing these is extremely risky because it's marked on the map where it is, so it basically drags all the PKers and everyone right to you. Okay, this guy is definitely trying to kill me. I, I think I can maybe stay here long enough to actually see what it drops at least. And after that, I'll just have to bank with all my supplies. Hopefully it doesn't have teleblock though. I was here from the beginning, but I still didn't get the loot. I thought because I was here so early, I would have got enough damage to actually be the MVP, but I guess not. I was kind of late to this one, so I don't think I'm going to get the loot. But I did get just completely free time to DPS. Ah, nothing again. I do not think I show you guys my collection log, but for Revenants, I have been slightly lucky, you could say. 2.8 KKC, got the Avarice, got the Crafts Bow, a couple of totems, but of course, if we get the Ancient Crystal, that would be the best to keep all the money and also get a collection log slot unlocked. I honestly don't know the spawn rates of Maledictus, but I feel like I've been very lucky. I've seen three of them now in like, what, 150 KC, something like that, and two of them have spawned right at me. No way, what? Oh, he hit my whole HP. I saw him running, but just a little too late. I didn't get my protection from melee up, but goddamn, another missed Maledictus. It might seem like I'm dying a lot, and it is true, but I've been attacked 18 times since I started this grind, and I've only died three times. Of course, that's three times too much, but I'm getting attacked very, very frequently here. Oh my god, yes, I finally got the freeze. He was on Arim's. Oh, I've been trying to freeze him for the longest time. He doesn't have flowers either. I think we're good. Oh, I was wondering when this was going to happen. The first rare drop at 644kc, 8 million. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No way that just happened. Like, okay, I guess we're risking the 8 million emblem. I guess the only thing we can try to do is get a freeze because this guy is an absolute unit. And uh, I don't know if he has flowers, but hopefully he doesn't. Oh, we got the first freeze. We're so lucky. Can I just walk under it, please? Oh, do not have flowers, please. Please, please, please. Yes, I think we got away. Come on. Yes, we got away. 8 million secured. I should have just picked it up right away, but luckily we got away. 8.3 million looting bag. I can't complain about that. What? I hit one coin? You can get from 1 to 251 coins in one drop. And I managed to hit the lowest number. One singular coin. I thought these were good money. It is not quite exactly the halfway point, but after this one, we are as close to it as we possibly can be on 806 kill count. And my prediction of getting roughly 50 million GP from this grind seems to be actually undershooting it because we got that massive relic. So it's looking more like we're going to be hitting 55 to 60 million at this point, which is quite a lot of money. Oh my god. What? Guys, get away from me! I thought you were a PK. You got me. Dude, I had the biggest heart attack there. I wasn't ready for teleporting at all. It is actually very early in the morning right now. I woke up because I wanted as little PK as possible. And we're hitting 1000 KC after this one. And I have actually been kind of correct. Usually I'm getting around 90 kills an hour with all the PK attacking me. But right now I'm at 130 an hour. So if we can go really hard now in the morning, we can actually finish this grind in like 5 hours from now. Or of course, we could just get lucky and get the Ancient Crystal and be done right away. 
Oh, I just got back from banking, and there hasn't been a Maledictus in the caves for quite some time, actually, so I guess I was just really lucky in the beginning, but let's see if we can get this one. I definitely can solo this boss if I don't get interrupted by any P- And just as I say that, a PK logs in, that is the big problem with this, because it's definitely taking quite some time to kill a Maledictus on my own, and gives a lot of time for PKs to get there. I am back and it still has its half HP, but there's probably someone ready to come in and attack me as soon as possible, but maybe not. Yeah, that took me a whole of 5 seconds and a new peak here, not even the same. There it is! We did it! We actually got the Ancient Crystal! 1077 KC! Oh, that feels so good! Two Revenant videos on one singular item. And we finally got it. The collection log slot unlocked. And uh, I'm not risking as much now as with the emblem. So we're taking it chill. I don't think a PK is that interested in getting an ancient crystal. But that looks so good in my inventory. It's such a cool looking item. So here we are. This is now 3580 revenants total. Of course 1077 in this video. 1400 roughly dragons in my last rev video on drop rate. And we finally have the ancient crystal. You would be right in thinking, what are these ancient crystals even used for? Because it's kind of a weird item and it's not very obvious. Well, I'm going to show you guys. If you build a superior garden in your player owned house, you can actually use this to build a wilderness obelisk. When you have your superior garden built, go ahead and go to the middle of the room and build on the teleport space. And you can now see that there is an obelisk. If you have four ancient crystals, 80 construction and four marble blocks, you can now build one of these massive obelisks in your house. That lets you teleport to a bunch of areas in the wilderness. As you can see, it works exactly like the ones in the wilderness, so this is super useful to have. Now, to end the video, I want to go through some very, very brief stats. I was attacked 31 times, meaning every 35 revenant I killed, I was attacked once. Out of these 31 times, I died only 5 times, and in loot and my gear, I lost a total of 10.5 million. So out of 36.6 million GP, I still made 26.1 million. But because of the supplies costing a bit as well, I roughly made 20 million GP pure profit. So for something with very low requirements, it's definitely one of the best money makers in the game. Again, thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Remember to check out the link in the description. And until next time, guys, take care.